Very capable guy. Uh, he's created, you know, he, he, he lives within this house. Right now we're doing this interview in part of the basement of uh, set. And uh, it's, it's, it's not a small house, but he understands kind of every square foot of it. He knows where everything is. He's very, very organized. So he's kind of created this universe in which he can operate quite effectively here. He gets outside, not so good, but one has the sense that he spends very little time outside, that his world has become circumscribed by this, by this house here. And so, uh, but within those confines, he's very capable. He can wield a hammer uh, without worrying about smashing his fingers. He can, he can, he can more than survive here. He can, uh, he really is master of his universe here. Just the sort of moral ambiguities of this whole story because uh, there's no question for the first, for a large segment of this film, he is victim. And, he, and he's a laudable guy, as I said, he's a vet, he's, he's blind, he's disabled, he's lost his daughter. <laughs> I mean, he's just been kind of crapped on. And here are these kind of young snots coming in here and just, you know, driving another nail in the coffin of his life. And, and, you, and you can't help but sympathize with him wanting to uh, defend his territory. Uh, and uh, then, and that's all totally legit, and then there's a wrinkle, and you realize, we learn, that, he, there's a, that, that he's moved into another phase of darkness in his life. And the truth of the matter is what, what I feel is like, well, if I don't love him, who will? <laughs> you know, if I don't love him, nobody will. And so I, my heart kind of goes out to characters uh, like that, whatever like that means, but I've never read this character before. I've never seen this guy. And there's, he struck me as this wonderful and really interesting combination of real strength and absolute vulnerability and weakness. And uh, um, that's just, it, there, there's a kind of a real cool tension and uh, it's a great challenge for the actor and for the director and for the actor and director together to kind of explore that, that tension of, of, of strength and weakness, you know, of victim and perpetrator. And, and he is both of these things. He is both uh, 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 his protagonist, he's antagonist. He's, it's just, it's not clear cut. And, and that makes for really, really interesting. Proven to be, he's, he's a movie, the guy's a filmmaker. He's a, he's a filmmaker par excellence, you know. First of all, I was predisposed to like him because I thought the script was so smart, and, and he wrote it, you know? So I figured, well, if this dude can write, maybe he can direct, too. And the word I'm getting from somebody I respect is that he can direct very well indeed. So working with him has been just, just terrific because, uh, man, he knows what he wants, and he's relentless about getting it, and he's also extremely, uh, uh, um, you know, collaborative.